something like this. We don't know if it'll be days, weeks, months. But they're ready for whatever it takes. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. Members of an ambulance service in central Illinois are preparing for deployment. They'll head to New York to help with handling the spread of coronavirus there. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting spoke with members of the service about what they'll be doing and how they're being prepared. Uh, we do everything from natural disasters to things like what's going on now, tornadoes, floods, snowstorms, or just anytime a EMS system is overwhelmed. And they're being called out again to help in New York. Four members of Lakeside EMS in Effingham will head out tomorrow. The state has more cases than anywhere else in the U.S., with nearly 50,000 confirmed. We're sending out two teams, and then I'll be building a... Uh, some relief teams and second wave teams to go out as needed. They also need to make sure they have enough people at home base. We'd like to send more teams. It's just we need to cover home first before we cover anywhere else. Everyone going is prepared for almost anything. Everyone who's involved in the FEMA deployments, they have to have hazmat training. They have to have national incident management system training uh, through FEMA. Among those is paramedic and deployment team officer Tyler Howell. While he'll miss his family, he says he's happy to respond to the front lines. I've always wanted to serve any way I can. And plus, too, when you're, when you're a paramedic, I mean, you kind of put everybody else's needs above yourself. While some ambulance services in central Illinois are going to other areas to help, some, like OSF, are staying right here and say they're fully staffed and equipped to help our area. <laughs> Wherever they're all stationed, they are a vital part of protecting their communities even when they aren't home. And we like to look at it like if something happened in Illinois and we needed help, we would hope, you know, smaller companies like ours and other states would come and help us. That was Courtney Bunting reporting. Those four people will be leaving in teams of two tomorrow. They don't know how long they'll be gone. They are the first FEMA EMT group to be deployed. Members of the Georgetown Ambulance Service were also put on standby yesterday for possible deployment. They're waiting for orders to send people. Speaking